solar radiation. According to the data, it shows that the equator receives more of the sun's rays, aka solar radiation. This means that the equator would be a lot hotter than the north and south poles. Segments A through D are the amount of radiation coming to Earth hitting the North Pole. Segments D through J are the amount of radiation coming to Earth hitting the equator. Segments J through N are the amount of radiation coming to Earth hitting the South Pole. So notice how throughout the segments A through D and J through M, both the North and South Poles, they have the same amount of radiation. But the equator has a higher amount of solar radiation hitting the Earth, which are between the segments D through J. HR8799 emits more energy than the sun because on the graph from figure 2.24, it shows that the line for HR8799 is higher, which means that it has more heat intensity than the sun. The energy peak for HR8799 was ultraviolet light. For the sun, however, the energy peak is visible light. So... Can you really get a sunburn from HR8799? Yes. You would get a sunburn from the star because of the UV, aka ultraviolet rays. This model helped me learn the concept of how we have seasons, how the Earth never gets closer or farther from the sun, and how the Earth rotates, spins, and orbits around the sun. Today sure was a cold winter day. As Earth orbits the sun, winter occurs when the Earth is farthest from the sun. This statement is not true. This is a common mistake made that seasons occur when the Earth moves closer or farther away from the sun. But, newsflash, the Earth does not move back and forth from the sun. Crazy, right? I mean... Who knew? The seasons actually happen because of the tilt of the Earth's axis. Winter would occur when the Earth leans away from the sun.